the group executive director. So I look after the businesses in Uganda, Tanzania, DRC, Rwanda, South Sudan, and of course generally assisting the group in terms of leadership and governance. One of my biggest mentors has actually been the group CEO, Dr. James Mwangi. He tells you as it is and he will tell you when you're doing the right thing and he will also give you another opinion or a different opinion if he thinks things can be done differently. He's not afraid to tell you that. That is the role of a good mentor in this bank. Uh, women have done an extremely good job uh, rising f uh, through the ranks with the right attitude, focus, passion and a lot of enthusiasm and love for the business. As women, sit at the table. Do not sit at the periphery. The way of giving back is actually to mentor others. We become stronger by lifting others up. So I made a commitment myself to lift others up, the other young women who are in the business. I will focus my energies and my knowledge to mentor them so that they can meet their aspirations. International Women Day, it's a memorable day, mostly for many women that are not exposed, that are still in need to be recognized for the works that do. Any woman has bring an impact on the society. I'm a member of the Career Network Women, so it's a platform where women that have different careers, we meet and discuss and share different opportunities that are there. In that same platform, I also mentor some young girls, that especially in the field of science, because I'm in uh, IT. I've never really gone to work as a woman. I've always gone to work as a professional. Strong professional first, female second, rather than woman first and then strong professional. Because you go into these places not as women, you go into these places as professional. You're excellent and exceptional at what you do. And it's really important to stand up for things that are really important to you, that you believe in. Some of them will be considered very feminine. But don't describe it in gender terms. Just describe it as something that's important. It's a principle, it's a value, and they're important values. They're gender neutral. You need to stand with those. It's also nice to mentor young women because they come with some very different needs and expectations. Policies that business creates must be policies that make it easy for both men and women to be promoted on equal basis. Business needs to remove any discriminatory policies, enhance the ability of women to compete for middle management and senior positions. Right from the beginning, they, they must look at enhancing their skills. It is very important that they are promoted because of their abilities, not because they are women. Equity is an equal opportunity employer, so they have as good an opportunity to raise up as the male man. Career progression is very, very, very important because this is your future. Like I tell my students, what you are doing now is what's going to support you for the rest of your life. Young people need a lot of guidance. A lot of guidance because there are very many deviations in their work and in their life. They make one mistake when they are at universities or colleges and their life is derailed. As a woman, you have to keep healthy. Your body is a machine of everything. You are giving birth, you are working day and night, you are using your mind. When you do exercises, it clears your brain. Healthcare, unlike other sectors, is a 24-hour sector. As a woman, you have many other roles to run. You are a mother, you are a wife, you are the doctor that your patients want to be able to see at any given time. How do you fit into the various roles that you're required to fit into? and at the same time do a good job of what you're required to do. So that came with its challenges and I think called from a very early stage for finding that balance to be able to be excellent in everything that you're doing. It's impossible to grow if you're not working with others. You must be a natural team player. At the end of the day, if you're working somewhere and you're generally not felt, then it limits your growth. I joined Equity Bank as a branch manager at Moy Avenue in Mombasa. I quickly went back to school and registered for my master's degree in strategic management so that then I could manage that role effectively. I've created a high performance culture, a very cohesive team, very, very exciting team. I would advise the younger women to take their responsibilities very seriously that Equity Bank is a very open institution. It is a super brand. All of us have dreams, all of us have aspirations to get to higher levels, but unless you are able to do the very best within the position that you are in, then you cannot be able to grow. 
as a woman in manufacturing i'm very passionate about hard holding other women so that we are able to demystify this idea of manufacturing that it is a role that is supposed to be done for men the biggest problem that as women we have is self limitation and a lot of women we sabotage ourselves and we sabotage our capability it's time for all of us to stand and be counted for this generation there are a lot of opportunities for women to take leadership roles in society and to take advantage of the opportunities that exist take up leadership to drive the agenda of equality within society and the workplace for women and by and large will create for us better economies and a better country continent and world for all of us i recall one situation where i had just gotten a promotion just before i came to equity and upon getting the promotion my child got sick and uh, she was in class 8 and it was very worrying for me but i was able to overcome that because i went through a course called um, unleashing the potential in yourself the learnings from that course really helped me to overcome that challenge because it was very tempting i didn't know whether to continue working or first of all to stop working and take care of my child to women as they grow their career overcome the fears have the confidence and the focus never think that you are doing it because you are a woman doing it because you are the right person to do that job when there is an opening for a position men would apply even the ones who are way below what is expected but for women they will shy away from applying so one of the things that we need to address as women is confidence the other one is a lack of perseverance one time i was called to go and work in equity bank rwanda this was a foreign country very interesting for me because for the first time i was going to be away from home one of the challenges i had to fight with was learning the language in rwanda in Rwanda is their national language then also French so i'm here in a new country i don't know their culture i don't know their language but i had a very positive mind and i said i'm going to learn it as women we tend to hold back even when you're in a team and maybe there's three men and two women probably you'll find that the women will hold back and let the men take charge much as they are fully competent to actually also take charge what men can do a woman can do hmm? I've witnessed this. I was born in a family of uh, nine children, and the fifth, the first four were boys. Uh, so seven boys, two girls, and I've been able to do what they were able to do. And I've seen that along my professional career in the boardroom. Sometimes there are issues we we'll look at as women, which maybe men will not have looked at, and they will listen to you. But what is important is that you should always be prepared. When I'm given a job, I have to do it diligently. I have to really work hard. Any time you're determined, you have the willingness, you have the right attitude, you have focus, and you're very clear on goals and objectives. Somehow, someone will always set in to hold your hand. women are more resilient than men a woman can withstand so much we have even seen it with patients we have seen men and a woman getting a diagnosis of a cancer how the woman handles it and how the man handles it are very different women are better managers you have to plan how you do your shopping you have to plan how your kids get education you have already taken management as a default in the house We came together as friends, a few girls who are from my county. We were able to do a program where we liaise with the community health workers on the ground to be able to reach very remote areas in the county where there's no access to antenatal care. We were able to collaborate and give them resources to monitor these women during pregnancy. It's a new technology where you are able to track these women. We are a pastoralist community. They're able to have a GPS tagged to these women so the community health workers would know where these people are at any given time so they would follow them uh, where they are back in Marsabit County. If men can come up with this thing of encouraging their daughters, I can start with their daughters. Biologically, they are so connected to their daughters. If they can create policies knowing in my workplace, I'm designing a policy to make sure my daughter thrives to the top, then the policies around women growth in organizations would be completely different. I hope we will change the lenses. that we don't see people from the perspective of their gender but evaluate people and see people 
from their impact to their contribution, from their values. This will go a long way in healing the disparity between gender. And more importantly, to help us to move to a place of subconscious of treating people equally.